Okay, hi, uh, this is Dr. Carroll, and we're going to uh, continue with our lecture three. We're going to expand upon our uh, discussion of the structure of an atom, and we'll go into the periodic table a bit. So lecture number three. I'm going to assume that I'll have a second part. So we'll call this part one. Okay, so as we discussed before, the atom consists of an electronic or an electron cloud a nucleus and the components of that nucleus are what give our atom its mass. Because we remember, right, the nucleus contains our protons and our, our neutrons. And of course, the electron cloud. So what are some of these characteristics uh, that we need to know? Uh, about our subatomic particles as they're referred to. Okay, so we all, we all know that electrons are negatively charged. Protons are positively charged. And, and neutrons have no charge. What other characteristics should we note? For the uh, charge, we do have a magnitude, and that magnitude for an electron is 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. Okay, C is coulombs. Okay, we won't go into and deriving coulombs, but it involves voltage and this value is obviously very very small, 10 to the minus 19. So, uh, like before, we found that a neutral atom of hydrogen contained one electron and one proton and each of those contributed to uh, the mass and the charge on hydrogen as represented in the periodic table is neutral. So in order for the uh, electron, and I think I'm missing a very important value, and that's the fact that that's negative 1.602. Protons are positive 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. And of course they have no charge on a neutron. There are no coulombs to measure. So just to make a note, the these uh, 
electrostatic properties. These electrostatic properties are what contribute to uh, the strength of our uh, atomic of our atom and also it, it, it explains the differences between other elements. So the electrostatic properties, for instance here, a negative charged electron and a positively charged nucleus, we have a very strong attractive force between our nucleus and our electron and of course other elements have more than one electron more than one proton giving us a increase in that uh, attraction and then when there are other elements atoms of other elements that come in proximity, those uh, attractions shift and change. So the electrostatic properties are very important in determining the strength of our uh, atom, strength of the elements that are in our periodic table, the strength of the formation of compounds, that is a mixture of different atoms, and also that explains the differences that we have between elements. And we'll see more uh, about the uh, contribution of the electrons and protons in, a, in elements. All right, what are some other properties? Let's talk about mass. The mass of our electron is very small, 5.48 or 49 times 10 to the minus fourth atomic mass unit. All right, and just to define one atomic mass unit equals 1.66 times 10 to the minus 24 grams. Okay, so it's a very, 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 very small quantity. Um, and so, 5.48 10 to the minus 4 atomic mass units is the electron. The proton, however, has an atomic mass unit of 1.0073. Okay. And the neutron is 1.0087 atomic mass units. And so this is where we get the mass, for instance, of hydrogen. We said hydrogen has a mass of 1.00. Need a periodic table. 794 atomic mass units because it has a nucleus with only one proton up here, and one electron, so it's 
So the electron's mass is so small that it's essentially negligible. Zero. And we set one for our proton and one for our neutron. Just to make it easier. Now the heaviest, uh, we'll get into the periodic table and just uh, probably in part two. But the heaviest elements in the periodic table is uranium. Uranium 92. That is the heaviest naturally occurring uh, element. Okay. So there are many, many elements in the table. As a matter of fact, there are 118 elements uh, in the periodic table. And we'll, we'll talk about them, not all of them, but we'll talk about the major categories. Uh, and I think that's, those are pretty much it in terms of the properties of uh, some atomic particles that we want to look at. Um, so in part two, let's talk about the periodic table, how it's set up. And I'll get a copy here that we can look at and identify important components. All right, thanks for listening, and uh, we will return.